So Curtis Patterson, congratulations, part of the Sydney Thunder. Yeah, mate, absolutely looking forward to it this year. Bit of a change from last year, but uh, certainly, certainly can't wait for this year's BBL. And uh, I think the Thunder have been all over stealing the Sixers, so you, you've defected from the Sixers, you're a Thunder man. Um, how good is it going to be for the Thunder? Uh, hopefully, hopefully quite good, yeah. Uh, went from the Sixers last year, you know, had, a, had a great time there last year, but I think there's going to be a few more opportunities this year at the Thunder, so I'm certainly looking forward to it. I know it's huge he's come with you. Uh, you. You two have a bit of a pact in the off-season to say, look, we'd just rather play in green? No, we didn't actually, mate. We didn't actually know that each of us were signing, but um, we both just sort of ended up there last this year from the from the Sixers last year. So no, it'll be certainly good playing playing with Hughes again this year. Incredible news with with uh, Mike Hussey. The you know the Huss is going to be phenomenal for the Thunder this year. Uh, have you come across him before? Have you had much to do with him? No, mate. I've actually never never met him to be honest. So that's something that yeah, there's really looking forward to getting the op the opportunity to play play with him is going to be fantastic I think for folks like me and Husey to uh, have that opportunity to see how he goes about his about his business and learn from him is going to be fantastic. You didn't have a photo of him or a poster on your wall when you were growing up did you? No I didn't, I was always Steve Waugh in my room but um, he's certainly an idol that's for sure when I was growing up especially watching that 2006-07 Ashes series at Adelaide Test but no it's going to be fantastic mate I can't wait. Going to be great playing out at ANZ. What a, what a, f a phenomenal ground! You know the members of uh, of the Thunder love being out there. For you playing at ANZ, uh, have you thought about it much in terms of the stadium? Uh, not a lot, to be honest, mate. But I got the chance to to be out there last year when the, when the Sixers played, and it was a fantastic atmosphere. I think there was about twenty five thousand there, and it, the crowd the crowd was loud. And uh, even though the Sixers won there last year, they certainly enjoyed the game. So it's going to be great. And you've got your, your Blues coach there, Chandika, who's going to be looking after the team. You've, you've had a fair bit to do with him. Uh, that'll be fun working with him. Yeah, it'll be good to continue working with Chandy. He's obviously been the main sort of batting coach I've had at, at New South Wales. So it'll be fantastic to work with him throughout the Big Bash on, on T20 stuff and, and also the back end of the Big Bash to be able to sort of work with him on four-day cricket again and go from it from there. I know we've been getting a lot of feedback. Um, Thunder fans really looking forward to getting to meet you and, and particularly the members. It's going to be great to be mingling with the members uh, after games at ANZ Stadium. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fantastic, mate, to see all the all the supporters out there and members or whatnot. It's going to be a great experience. They're the main driving force, but behind us, so it's going to be great to uh, get the chance to meet them all and whatnot. And what do you think the members and the and the fans at the Thunder can look forward to this year? Uh, I think a team. It's going to be probably more successful than we have been the last, last two years and uh, I think there's a few changes that have been made and I think they're all for the better and it's, I think it's going to be a really promising year for the Thunder this year so it's going to be yeah, something that I think all us players look forward to and I think the, the fans should be looking forward to as well.